Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dutch Human Writer to from Costa Rica. Today we're going to chat about driving in Costa Rica, what to know when renting a car in Costa Rica. Actually, if you look at this topic online, you see a lot of people trying to persuade you away from renting a car in Costa Rica. And today I'm here to give you the scoop on, okay, so what's the deal with renting a car in Costa Rica and driving in Costa Rica? Because for me, um, you should totally do it. You just need to be aware of a couple of things and we'll go over the downsides. But I'm here to tell you that the pros outweigh the cons. If you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat. I've been living in Costa Rica for the last 17 years. I co-own a travel company, so I have a lot of connections. And throughout the years, I have been able to weed out the not so great companies from the great companies. I am here to give you advice. It's obviously up to you whether you want to take it or leave it. But hey, let's get into it, shall we? So the obvious pros of renting a car, as I touched on it earlier, is that you have complete flexibility as to where you go, how long you stay there, you know, like you can stop along the way, again, stay as long as you would like, the flexibility is endless, and of course, another pro is that it actually saves you a lot of costs. You see, tours in Costa Rica, like activities, are rather expensive especially if you compare with other Latin American countries. But if you rent a car, you obviously save costs on the organized tour that you would have to book if you don't have a car. For example, let's say you're staying in the Aranal area and you don't have a car. So obviously you want to explore the area. So you book the tours that you either find online or that the concierge at your hotel is offering you. So let's say you want to go visit La Fortuna waterfall. That tour for them to come pick you up and you know, take you there and drop you back off is actually $70. However, if you drive yourself, it costs you $18 entrance fee you don't have to be in a group with other people and follow the guide as to now we go here, now we go there, hurry. You know, you can stay obviously all day if you want. And in an organized tour, you have to go whenever the guide tells you to leave. Um, you want to visit the Sloth Sanctuary? An organized tour is $60, but the entrance fee, if you drive yourself, is only $10. You know, so that way you, you save a lot of money, of course. Now, let's get over the points, downsides, or the warnings that you see online from people that tell you not to rent a car in Costa Rica. Number one is car rental scams that happen in Costa Rica. Yes, that is absolutely happening. It's extremely sad. But a warned tourist can, you know, avoid this problem. So what happens is, these, especially these bigger international rental companies that we actually all know the name of, there's several, there's two different scams actually there's three different scams going on one is the common one that they advertise with just the price of the rental car and there's a lot of hidden fees like insurances taxes you name it so but they don't they're not very clear on that and you find that out the moment you are actually here picking up the car so a lot of people get in a huge argument because often the price is double from what they thought it would be and then you know like they'll try to explain like, oh, well, it's because of the taxes and the fees. Well, then they should have been upfront about it, right? Then there's the, um, the insurance scam. There's actually a mandatory insurance here and travel, um, uh, sorry, rental companies take advantage of how confusing it is because then there's two additional insurances. They lump it all together and it's confusing and they're not being transparent and it can, you know, cost you a lot of extra money. Then the other is, you know, when you drop off the car and you go around the car to see if there's any damage, they'll, you know, they'll say, oh my gosh, you damaged ABC and it's, it's internal damage, like it's crazy. But how do you prevent that? By renting from the right company. Now I understand that most of you are not gonna know, well, what's the right company? Well, to do here I am to tell you which company my travel company has used for years and years and years that does not scam people, is very clear about, you know, like the prices, doesn't surprise you, doesn't try to scam you with damages when you return the car that weren't there. 
I actually made a, a detailed video on car rental scams in Costa Rica. I will link that at the end of the video. So at the end of the video, make sure to check that out and I'll explain more of the details. What's important is get the right company. I'm gonna leave the name of the company uh, for you to check out in the description box below. So when you scroll down this video, you'll see a text box. Sometimes you won't see it, so you just need to click on read more or more, and I'll leave a link to the car rental company that we've been using for all our clients for years, and you can be rest assured that they will take good care of you. So moving on to the next point why people say that you shouldn't rent a car in Costa Rica, and that's because there's no signs in Costa Rica to indicate where you need to go and you know just in general bad signs they're not wrong but really is that going to prevent you from not driving yourself and get all the advantages of you know having a car because the thing is hello we have the internet sure you're in a different country but there's ways to get the internet you know you just get it on your phone actually i made a video a detailed video about that too on how to stay connected in Costa Rica there are several ways so if you're interested in that again at the end of this video i will link a, a video on how to get internet on your phone how to stay connected in costa rica because that way you can use i mean the best app for driving in costa rica would be Waze because a lot of people here use Waze, so it's also helpful to know where there's an accident they reroute you and it's actually very uh updated Waze is the way to go and if not google google maps is always good but google maps i don't think gives you the the recent updates on uh, traffic delays accidents or anything like that so yeah okay bad signs sure so but with you know like either a gps or Waze or google maps on your phone telling you where to go that shouldn't be a problem right i personally love driving in costa rica because it the scenery, the landscape is so beautiful. It's like, to me, like a tour on its own just to drive from A to B. And the third reason people say don't rent a car in Costa Rica is because uh, Costa Rica has really bad roads. Roads are in bad shape. Well, at some point, yes, that was absolutely true. Like years ago, certain tourist destinations had really bad roads, like uh, Monteverde, for example, which is a really popular destination. And it wasn't until 2019 until that road got paved. But let me put it this way. 90% of all roads that go to touristy destinations, you don't need a, a, a four-wheel drive. So that right there says a lot. Now, if you go off the beaten path, Okay, so get a four-wheel drive and you'll be fine. And sure, just be ready for, okay, there could be a pothole here and there. And then uh, certain roads, like for example, if it's the rainy season and you are driving to the Caribbean side, like the Limon area, Cavita, Puerto Viejo, uh, there's the occasional landslide. So what I suggest you do is when you're staying in a hotel, you ask the hotel for any current updates on you know are the roads open or not but really this is this is so not a reason to not rent a car because also i think certain roads that have the potholes actually adds to the experience of the adventure of driving in costa rica but like i said most roads are paved absolutely so just come and rent a car and then the last reason why people so don't rent the car is because ticos are the worst drivers ever I wouldn't say it like that. I would just say they follow different rules. For example, passing is a biggie. Uh, I still, so I've been driving here for 17 years and I still need to get used to the fact that people can pass here from, you know, they can pass you on the left and on the right. So if you're on a three lane highway, you just have to be a bit careful. But again, once you know, you know uh then passing where it gets dangerous is in on the mountain roads like you know the ticos like to take more chances they pass in situations where most people won't pass up a hill you know right before a curve you know stuff like that so you can't control that all you can do is just always be sure to keep a safe distance from other cars and you'll be fine. Like, obviously, if this all is intimidating to you and it scares you, then don't do it. But 
if you just use common sense and you're careful, you can have an amazing time because it is so much better to explore Costa Rica uh, with the flexibility and the freedom of having your own car. It's what a difference. You'll see so much more, explore so much more, you know, it's amazing. So yeah, I won't let people steer you away. Just make sure you have the right car rental company. Again, you can use mine. The link to this rental company is in the description box below. Um, just know uh, you only need like your driver's license from home to rent a car here. You don't need an international driver's license. You do need a, a credit card uh, for the deposit and a valid passport and that's it it's easy peasy and you're gonna have an amazing time if you have any questions regarding this subject leave them in a comment section below if you have any ideas or on topics that i should do a video about leave them in the comment section below i'm always happy to help i want to thank you for watching i appreciate you watching if you got any value from this video please give me a thumbs up that actually helps the youtube algorithm to show this video to more people so i really appreciate it even better if you subscribe to my channel click that bell icon so you receive a notification every time i upload a new video i have close to 200 different videos on topics on costa rica travel uh which hotels which areas which restaurants are good hidden gems Costa Rica living and also traveling and working online. So be sure to check them out. You just click on my name, Wanda the Traveling Dachi, click on videos and you see all the different topics. If you're looking for something specific, you can actually use the filter. Uh, let's say you're looking at cost of living in Costa Rica, just put cost and all the videos regarding cost will pop up. All right. Again, want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao from Costa Rica. Pura vida.